Assalamu alaikum brother and sister welcome to another video of Dr. Zakir Naik watch the video and after the video we will talk about the video I am Sabah Bakai from Delhi and my question to Zakir uncle is the Christian concept of the God is a trinity the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost but these three are one does this mean that they believe in only one God The sisters asked the question that the Christians believe in Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and that they are one. Does it mean that they also believe in one God? Sister, if you analyze the word Trinity, it occurs nowhere in the Bible. If you search the full Bible, the word Trinity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. It's not there in the Bible. But the word Trinity is there in the Holy Quran. But the word Trinity is there in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 171, it says, Don't say Trinity. This has stopped it, it's better for you. For God is one God. It's again repeated in Surah Maida, chapter number 5. Verse number 73, it says, Lakat salasa. They blaspheme those who say that Allah is one of three in a trinity. For there is no God but Allah. So the word trinity is not mentioned in the Bible, but it is there in the Quran. And Quran says, Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say trinity. The closest verse that you can find in the Bible, which can be taken for Trinity, is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, which says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. This verse of the Bible, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse number 7, is the closest resemblance to Trinity, in the full Bible. But if you read the Revised Standard Version, which has been revised by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different Christian cooperating denominations, they have removed this verse from the Bible as an interpolation, as a concoction, as a fabrication. It was not removed by Muslims or non-Christian scholars, but it was removed by 32 Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denomination as an interpolation, as a concoction, as a fabrication, because it was not there in the original manuscript. We Muslims, we should thank the galaxies of deities, the doctors of divinity, for getting the Bible one step closer to the Quran, closer to Islam. As the Quran says, Wala taqulu salasa, don't say Trinity. In fact, if you analyze, as I said in my talk, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never spoke about Trinity. That Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they were one. In fact, he said in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 28, My Father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, with the finger of God I cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Because I seek not my will, but the will of thy father who has sent me. He never spoke about Trinity. In fact, when he was asked that which is the first of the commandments, he said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, Shama Israelo Adnai Lahaino Adnai Khad, which means, Your O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. But if you ask the Christian church, in the catechism, they tell you, that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person.
but they aren't three persons, they are one person. Person, 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 but not three person, one person. What language is this? One plus one plus one is equal to three. It's not equal to one. One into three is three, not one. So when we ask them that suppose there are three triplets, identical triplets, if one of them commits murder, can you hang the other? They say no. Then you ask them why? Because each one has a different personality. If one of the triplets commit murder, you can't hang the other because each one has a different personality. And when the Christian, when they think about the Father in heaven, they think like an old man like Santa Claus sitting in the heaven on one of the planets with the earth as a footstool. When they think about the Son, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, they think of a tall man who is fair, who has got blonde eyes, like Jeffrey Hunter, you see in the movie King of Kings. He did the acting of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Jeffrey Hunter. They have a certain mental picture. When they talk about Holy Ghost, they think of a dove, as the Bible says, which came upon Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was baptized. Or they think it like a spirit that came at the Feast of Pentecost, which is mentioned in the Bible. But when you ask the Christian that when you speak about Trinity, how many pictures do you have in your mind, the Christian will tell you one. Believe me, he's lying to you. Because one plus one plus one is three, it is not one. Hope that answers the question. Oh, welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video till the last minute. Uh, the sister asked a very interesting question that uh, there is there any uh, is there any for is there any words in the holy quran or is there anything in the bible that which said that trinity trinity is available and trinity mean one god so the answer is that there is no trinity mean i will uh, simplify you that trinity mean that the christian people they said that there are three god one is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the second is the Jesus and the third one is the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. So it means that these three are combined God. If uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do something, so the same thing is in the favor of Jesus and the third one is the Spirit. If the Jesus do something, so it means that it's the agreement of Allah and the, uh, and the uh, Holy Spirit. So if we look at the holy quran the doctors have give him reference that there is no uh, there is no line for the eternity in the bible but if we look at the holy quran so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that laqad kafara alladhina qalu inna allah thalith thalatha that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that those people who say that allah is one of the eternity so it's they are totally become non muslim allah is one qul huwa allah ahad so many times we have uh, recited in the Holy Quran, so in Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, talk to the people that Allah is one. Allah is one, no one is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is no option, there is no words that can be described that tenetry that Allah is one from this kind of tenetry as well. So no, it's totally fact. The second thing is uh, that uh, uh, some of the Christian they say that uh, uh, they say that لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَ It's a fact because there is no uh, friend, there is no friend or no there is any kind of partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of making this universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this universe just by saying kun and fayakun it happened. So there is no idea of trinity in Islam. It doesn't mean that there are three gods. There is only one God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was available. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is available and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remain forever. So there is no option, there is no idea of trinity. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.